What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to undo and redo actions and edits. And not just one at a time, I'm going to show you how to undo 10, 20, 30 at a time. And by doing that, it makes editing much more efficient. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's just head down to the timeline, which you can see I have a couple of videos already placed in line. And let's just do like the most obvious one first. So let's just say we cut this down and we cut it too short. But you think, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I want to undo it. You can obviously come up here to where it says edit and just click the first one that says undo. And you're going to see the shortcut is a command Z if you're on a Mac, which I am. And if you're on a PC, it'll be control Z. And then below that, you're going to see a redo, which is shift command Z. So you can do that, click that, it'll undo. But there's a, the keyboard shortcut, which is better. Let's just cut that too short again by accident. And if I just hold down command Z, it undoes it. So let's just pretend we're an hour into our edit. This, this clip is long, we have tons of effects, we've edited all the way and you realize, oh, I need to change something. I need to undo something from way back, multiple steps ago. I'm gonna show you how to do that with one click. So let's do a couple adjustments here. So let's shorten this. Let's bring down the opacity. Let's just completely delete this. Let's remove, let's remove the audio. Let's actually change the opacity to drop off there. Let's raise this back. We'll do another drop here, okay. So we've done all these different adjustments and we can even add a title. Let's just pretend we've added a title. It'll just say blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's just move this title say over there. Okay, so we've done all these adjustments. Now let's say we wanna go back 12 steps. Let's head over to the project panel. If we click on the project panel, at the very end of all these different links, markers up top, it's gonna to say history. If you click on history, you're gonna see all those different things that I did in steps. So let's just pretend we wanna go back to here to the delete. We wanna go back to the delete. So all of these things in gray, which means once I delete this line, everything past that point is gonna delete along with it. So it's gonna take us back to that last ripple delete. Or if you wanna do it from here, you can do it from here. You can pick whichever spot from that point on you wanna delete and then keep all the rest of the adjustments. You can see as I click it, you can see in my timeline, all those specific things, it's highlighting what that is. So I'm gonna go back up here and let's just say I wanna go back right before it, the very, very beginning. And if I just hit delete on the keyboard, it'll just ask you, are you sure you wanna delete this? And once you delete this, everything here that's grayed out will disappear along with it and be deleted. So I'm gonna click okay. So now you can see all this left is that one trim. Now, if I delete that one trim, it's the very first trim I did. I'm gonna delete that again. And now it extends it. So as far as all these different things, you can go back up to 32 actions. So you can do 32 different edits. You can go back and manually choose which one you want to delete and start from that specific point. It's very helpful, especially when you're moving at a fast pace and you realize there was a mistake somewhere down the chain. You can go back to that specific link, delete it, and then you're good to go. And one more thing I want to point out is whenever you open a new project, this history resets itself. Close it out, and when you reopen it, you have a fresh history. Anyway, I hope that helped, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.